My dear viewers, my name is Father Patrick Washira from Wamagana Catholic Parish. And I want to start with a question. Have you noted that in this country during this time of COVID-19, we have had so many homicides, so many defilements of little kids, so many killings all over the place? And have you wondered what could be the possible reason for this? Today I want us to point a finger to a very common problem that people are not aware, a disorder actually known as the antisocial personality disorder or ASPD. This is a psychological mental disorder which makes a person disregard others. It is also known as sociopathy. The person with this mental condition has no sense of right or wrong. He or she ignores the rights and feelings of other people. Such people with this kind of disorder or antisocial personality antagonize, manipulate, or treat others harshly and in a very callous way with a lot of indifference. It makes it worse that they don't feel guilty or remorse for their mistreatment of other people. Now, this is for parents to give you the early warning signs, especially with your kids who have not yet celebrated their 15th birthday. If you find some aggression in your kid to people or animals, you know, like these kids that you see who throw other kids around or even tear animals apart, even small insects, they want to kill them and destroy, not out of curiosity, but out of, you know, aggression. If you note a kid who breaks a cup, destroys property in the home and at school. If you see a kid that is caught at home with cases of theft, and even at school, destroying property and stealing other people's books, pens, and things like that. If you notice that your kid does not pay attention to rules and regulations, both at home and in school, those are early signs that are telling you that this young person could be heading towards antisocial personality disorder. Now, um, the manifestations of ACPD, first of all, is violation of law. People with this disorder become Come very much engaged in criminal behavior. And of course, they lie often and become violent when their lies are dismissed or confronted. They involve themselves in what we call substance abuse, that is doing alcohol and drugs and things like that. They cannot take, in, take on or fulfill any responsibility related to the family, or even if they are young, responsibilities at school, they are not responsible at their place of work. And of course, you'll note the following symptoms. They disregard light and wrong. They have no moral sense. They cannot be ethical. They persistently lie and, dis uh, and inv they are involved in deceit to exploit and manipulate others. They are very callous, which means that they are very insensitive and lack of feelings for other people's predicaments. They are very, very cynical and very distractful. Sometimes in uh, later relationships in life, especially as young adults, they use charm or wit to manipulate the relationship. And then after that, after they win a person, they become very arrogant 
and adopt a sense of superiority. And they are very, very extremely opinionated so that if it is in a relationship or in a marriage, they are the ones who should be listened to. They have the best opinions, they have the best way of doing things. If they are in leadership, they will become the people who must say and what they say must be done. They don't listen to other people. Uh, they have a recurring problem with the law and they are involved, as we have said before, in criminal behavior. They violate the rights of others through intimidation and dishonesty and they are very hostile and irritable and they have a lot of agitation and violence. They lack what we call empathy. They cannot feel with the, with the other people when they have problems or when they are suffering. And uh, they lack any feelings to other people's predicaments. They can get in risky behavior which could affect all the others. These are the people you see burning schools or houses or even, you know, destroying cars, you know, driving dangerously, they don't care about risky behavior. They are also very abusive, as we have seen in relationships, and they don't consider the negative consequences of whatever they do, and they never learn from their mistakes. Uh, they cannot even fulfill their work or finance obligations. The consequences of all these, especially in families and in marriages, the first one is physical abuse of spouses and children, and even their friends, and even neglecting their families and responsibilities. They have problem with alcohol and substance abuse, as we have seen before, and that is why they will be very, very uh, friendly to jails. They will be in jails for many times to, to look as if they, they are at home in jail. The, then sometimes it develops to homicidal and suicidal tendencies. Uh, and they have other mental disorders like uh, depression or anxiety. They also have very low esteem and the economic status, especially uh, in most places, even in the West, makes them or leads them to homel homelessness. And then, of course, they, they, they always die prematurely due to violence and due to all these agitations they cause to other people. Uh, is there treatment of this? The first one I would suggest myself, in my own opinion, is for parents to note very early that their kids could be having these problems and then talk to them and build self-esteem in them. Secondary, as adults, psychotherapy has been tried. Psychotherapy is talk therapy, where people sit in groups and they have sessions that deals with anger and violent management. They should also be treated, first of all, of their alcoholism or substance abuse and other mental conditions. And then, when it goes to the extreme, drugs such as lithium and carbamazepine could be used to control. But we should always, as parents, not, get, not let our kids get there. This is a good time, despite all the problems that you are having, to look at your kids, to study them closely, to watch them as they pray with others, to deal with them as they encounter their friends outside, even outside your house as they pray outside, and watch for the signs. And this will benefit us, not only as families, but as a country, because of all these uh, problems that we are facing, especially in families. Thank you very much. God bless you.